This is my story of buying flowers for my wife for Valentine's Day. And we start out going past all the surplus stores where you find dresses that have only been used once in America and they're shipped over here. Uh, women wouldn't be caught dead wearing them twice. And here they get really nice outfits um, costing them maybe two or three dollars. They cost you two hundred or three hundred dollars, but you wouldn't be caught dead wearing it again. But here I am zooming through all this traffic. Uh, we share it with tricycles, motorcycles, bicycles, and uh, jeepneys. And here I am cutting across this truck. And I know the truck's not going to hit me. This isn't America. There's no rules here. So everybody behaves and takes care of each other. I went into the gas station. They didn't have any gas. So out I go through a back street. Um, and you see these people walk within inches of your cars. Sometimes they bump into your rear view mirror, but these are what tricycles are like here. They're really motorcycles with sidecars, um, but they're called tricycles here. And I, I really enjoy riding them. I'd rather ride in a tricycle than drive a car because it's faster, you get to see more. Oh, speaking of see more, there is Mayan Volcano just staring us right in the face there as we're heading down the street. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm crossing over one of the main drives past Hotel Centro. This is called Imperial Boulevard, and I'm headed over to the wet market. The wet market is where all the farm people bring their produce. It's, it's outstanding, good quality, um, as good or better than anything in an American supermarket, and it costs pennies to the dollar. And I accidentally turned down a walkway. Here I go. Yeah, motorcycles can make it, but a car could never get in there. So there I am blocking traffic for everybody, trying to back up. And the nice thing about Filipinos, because of the lack of uh, streetlights and the lack of uh, enforcement, everybody kind of watches out for everybody. And when they saw me do this, they backed off and they let me, and they let me back up and go again. So here's some jeepneys. These are um, full of people who pay uh, anywhere from eight to twenty pesos for a ride. Uh, a peso is about 50 to 1 US and here the, uh, this back road is blocked because people are jammed going down this little street to get flowers for Valentine's Day. Uh, it's about 6 p.m. so everybody's getting off work. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day and they're politely waiting their turn trying to get in to get their Valentine's Day. I say they're all waiting their turn but you have to be aggressive you can't allow a gap big enough for somebody to fit in. So this tricycle on the right is trying to budge in front of me, and I'm getting as close as I can to this van so he can't do it. But the tricycle is covered with rebar. They're like uh, like a Mad Max machine. If, if he hits the side of me, it won't hurt him at all, but he'll just tear up the side of my car. So I have to be careful that we that we're very polite, polite in our competition. And when push comes to shove, if he really does have to get in, I'm going to let him in because uh, otherwise uh, he'll just get blocked off completely. And there he goes. Yep, I'll just let him in right there. And of course there's another reason for me doing that. I see a parking spot and some Valentine's goodies right there. See him? So I managed to pull over here. It's really not a parking spot at all. It's blocking a lane of traffic so there's only one lane going through here instead of two. But I, I jump out of the car. I get my Valentine. Uh, flowers for my wife and then I try to get back out into this traffic and they let me in. It isn't like uh, a lot of places in Jamaica or America where they just ignore you. You'd be sitting there for five minutes. The people let you in. And uh, that's one of the things I love about the Philippines. A town with no stoplights has far more efficient traffic than towns with stoplights. And here you can see all the vendors uh, with their special um, bouquets and stuff for Valentine's Day, uh, a holiday as cherished by men in this country as it is by men in America. In other words, yeah, they just kind of put up with it, don't they? But here I am squeezing past with only inches to spare between vehicles and people and <laughs> every other thing on the street. And I'm trying to get out of the, the wet market area. Uh, the, the flower shops, of course, are behind the wet market where all the vegetables and produce and fish are. And now I'm trying to cross Imperial again, uh, a major thoroughfare. And I make it, and here I'm trying to avoid a, a pit. This car almost drove me right into a pit. Not on purpose, he didn't see me coming. So then I 
zoom down the back road here towards the hospital. And, of course, there he is uh, driving on the wrong side of the road, that guy. That's pretty common. Now, this is Rizzo Boulevard, and how do you get across here? It's impossible, right? No. As soon as I find a little gap, I pull my car out. It completely blocks the traffic coming from the left. So the traffic on the right let me in because otherwise it's gridlock. And I turn back towards the surplus shops and that's it. I'm done. Uh, I make it home in one piece. Just make sure you watch out for the pedestrians. I never, never want to have a, a problem where I hit somebody. So happy ending.